Let us turn our faces backward. Look about you. We meet tonight in the Senate chamber, not the chamber in which we transact our business daily now, but the old Senate chamber where our predecessors wrote the laws before the Civil War. Here in this room, Daniel Webster, he moved, he moved about over the chamber from time to time. Daniel Webster orated, Henry Clay forged compromises. John C. Calhoun stood on principle. Here, Henry Foote of Mississippi pulled a pistol on Thomas Hart Benton of Missouri. Senator Benton, Benton ripped op open his coat and said, let the assassin fire, stand out of the way. Here, the eccentric Virginia Senator John Randolph brought his hunting dogs into the chamber. And the dashing Texas Senator Sam Houston sat over here. He sat at his desk and whittled hearts for the ladies in the gallery. And here, seated at his desk in the back row, Massachusetts Senator Charles Sumner was beaten violently over the head with a cane wielded by Representative Preston Brooks of South Carolina, who objected to Sumner's strongly abolitionist speeches and the vituperation that Sumner had heaped upon Brooks's uncle, Senator Butler of South Carolina. The Senate first met here in 1810, but because our British cousins chose to set fire to the Capitol, Ted, during the War of 1812, Congress was forced to move into the Patent Office building in downtown Washington, and later into a building known as the Brick Capitol, located on the present site of the Supreme Court building. Hence, it was December 1819 before senators were able to return to the restored and elegant chamber they met here for 40 years. 